तो हाय गाइस मेरी क्रिसमस एंड आई होप यू ऑल आर वेल एंड आई विश यू एडवांस्ड हैप्पी न्यू ईयर I wish you all the best and the best days ahead of you in your life and good health and prosperity for you and your family and your loved ones so today i it will be a very short video i wanted to show you something uh, basically i want to convey an information to you uh, that had been recently raised and uh, if you are using an open source email system then definitely you should know about it and uh, take necessary measures and precautions about it so what is it let's uh, let me open the page okay so the issue that has been enlisted into the postfix official website is smtp smuggling uh, as you can see it has been updated on december 29 2023 that means today is december 30 so it has been updated yesterday so it's pretty fresh and recent so by the way what what is the smtp smuggling if you, if you can look into many online resources to understand what is smtp smuggling uh, i will try to make it a summarized version of it and i will try to convey what i understood and what you should do by the way uh if you go through this space you will get all the information and you will understand everything let me tell you something as per an information there are almost um, just 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 give me a minute uh, just give me a minute um, so that i can give you some numbers so uh, that you can understand the impact of uh, of this security concern so just give me few minutes and let me just Take a look at this. These all are uh, some. These all are some. These all are some uh, sites where you can find all the informations, and uh, it says that uh, right now there are more than um, twenty to thirty will thirty million email server exist that uses post fix or send mail based. Uh, SMTP servers and this security concern affects all of them so okay without wasting any more of your time let's try to understand what is the SMTP smuggling so you can uh, you can read here uh, let me go to the page basically what it does what happens is also you can go to the SEC console official page of ECC concert uh, let me check if yeah there is the link ECC concert sorry yeah there is a very clear explanation there let me open that one yeah it has been it has described everything here but okay let's not waste any more of your time so what happens what is smtp smuggling so by the way whenever an email server communicates with another email server it communicates through the smtp servers the outbound smtp server sends data to the inbound smtp server so how 
outbound SMTP server and the inbound SMTP server determines with when the data ends and what, what is the end of the message so they use some parameters some some uh, some if I say notation uh, to 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 show that okay here the message ends so if you read this section clearly you will see that these uh, these parameters are used to show that the data or the line has ended like this is known as line feeding and the CR means for the carriage return so these are the general form of uh, general form of uh, sign that has been used by SMTP server to uh, to show that okay here the message ends here the line ends the outbound SMTP server uses the same thing whenever the inbound SMTP server receives the message and it 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 sees this it understands that okay the message ends here also sometimes dot is being used to show that the message ends but now what happened is that there are some security vulnerability that can be exploited and by exploiting those vulnerability a, a, a malicious third party attacker can manipulate the ending of a line or a data and insert malicious contents data codes into a well-known and authenticated outbound SMTP server so okay let me tell you something clearly let's say user A is a well-known SMTP server provider or a well-known email system SMTP B is another well-known email server but I am a malicious actor so whenever user a sends mail to user b it puts all the parameters perfectly so that user b understands or smtp server b understands where when the message ends but for this security vulnerability what happens me as a malicious actor gets the chance to inject something into the outbound mail of the outbound SMTP server. Therefore, when outbound server sends the forwards the mail to the server B, it sends the mail as a single mail. But whenever receiver or inbound receiver SMTP server B receives the mail due to the malformed of the message body or the content it it uh, determines the mail as it as two different things he finds two different different contents in that mail therefore it therefore it uh, it allows all the contents and the exploiter gets the chance to to exploit the vulnerability so if we go to the this side as it has mentioned here you can see you will see all the details outbound smtp server sends this message from it is this from attacker to the user subject message one this and actual it uses mail from admin from this server 
inbound SMTP server when inbound SMTP server receives the mail it receives actually two different contents and that's when the vulnerability takes place so I'm not going into the details I'm not going into I'm not gonna bore you with all the all the things you can read all of them I will give the link in the description so what can we do to prevent this so for the remediation postfix has uh, postfix has described some fix for us in its official documentation that we can implement in our postfix or send mail based servers so that we can be we can be safe from this from this attack so let's go to our server okay also whether you are using the extra carbonio community edition or zimra as you know zimra is going to be the end of life today uh, maybe not today tomorrow so whatever server you are using if it is a post week based or a send mail based you should apply this fix to keep your server secure so let me uh, let me uh, carbonio extra carbonio also issued this address this issue uh, in this space so you can follow this space and just simply add the fix so the fix is let me do the fix is at first check your post fix version for the extra carbonio what i'm going to do is apt dash polish c carbonio post fix as you can see my version is 3.8.3 .3. and if i look into the documentation of the extras it says uh, the if the version is 3.8.3 .3, then you do need to change these things so only one or two variables so now we are going to change those variables to change the variables what we are going to do is as a root user we are going to vi opt extras common con main.cf the postfix configuration file and in the postfix configuration file as you can see at the very bottom of this file i have added this line smtp discard e hello keywords chunking as it has been mentioned here so after adding this what i am going to do is i am going to save it then so jxpress c vrm control sorry not zm control i can restart zm control or i can just do zm restart okay uh, restart or reload so that's how i can implement the fix maybe uh, at the new release as i was reading the official documentation of post fix i found that uh, in post fix version 3.9 there will be an auto fix so 
you won't have to do anything manually in 3.9 so let's wait for the 3.9 and yeah stay aware and whenever a fix is available do not wait to apply it in your server but before applying it just read a little bit about it so that you can understand the issue and know the impact of that issue and apply it so the post fix has been restarted let me check the lines and five hope it did let's stress common form main as you can see it has been added so now we have added the fix so definitely do apply the fix and i will share the link as well as the summarized version of this instruction in the description of this uh, video so stay tuned stay blessed and again happy new year have a blessed life thank you guys thank you so much thank you so much